Hey guys, it's Alex out here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Belton. You guys thought I was going to say Kansas City, didn't you? But it's actually Belton or Kansas City, either one. Guys, we're here. Pepper Gray Laredo uh, was built for the farm show this past weekend. Uh, before it left, we wanted to do a uh, real quick video, walk around, check out this one of one. It's the only one in 2023. Pepper Gray Blackout. Let's take a look. Guys, Pepper Gray got a slick hint of uh, metallic in it uh, it is uh, a little silver metallic I believe what that is the sunlight it really pops uh, forgive us the pollen you know last night we had it detailed and for the show but the pollen set in on it last night but uh, it's got some silver metallic flake in it really pops in the sunlight all the black accents really set the truck off um, powder coated front bumper um, we have the Caliber 9 black grille, uh, custom with the Laredo uh, insignia on it. Um, black bezels all the way around. LED headlights, uh, projector style headlights on the front. Um, going around the side, we have the 22 and a half inch American Racing wheels. Um, instead of the diamond plate on top, as you guys know on the Blackout Laredos, we do the 3M uh, actual uh, sticky tread. Uh, it's made with uh, aerospace uh, adhesive put on the bottom. Um, super nice. It's easy. Keeps clean real easy. Doesn't tear up and it doesn't uh, disintegrate over time. So that's a nice feature. All of the bezels for the lights guys are all black and then even the bits and pieces um, for the uh, the actual door opening, the hinges, the actual fenders, everything like that has been sent off. It's been professionally powder coated, so it'll last you a long, long time. We did go ahead and put the spike lug nuts on this. We do do a version of the, of the smaller round lug nuts. This one, we did the spike lug nuts. Most folks tend to like the spikes, but if you don't, we can swap those out for the, the smaller round ones. Uh, all the all the bits and pieces on the de on the top deck here, uh, hinges, uh, tie downs. Those have all been sent off to powder coat as well. They are black, even down to the license plate bracket. We make sure to try to hit all the fine features to really make the truck pop. All LED tail lights. They are all clear lights, but light up red uh, or amber um, as needed also has uh, reverse lights built into the headache rack up top so when you're backing up uh, you can really see what's going on uh, coming around the side at night time guys i touch base on the on the black pieces on the actual uh the amber lights on the side the amber lights on the side actually shine up real great at night time uh, gives a nice classic big truck look super nice to have Fuel tanks on both sides has dual 50 gallon tanks with roughly seven and a half gallons of def. Um, so that's nice to have both fuel tanks, either side, 50 gallons. Uh, the fuel, if you don't know, uh, actually reads off the driver's side tank. So if you fuel the passenger for about 30 minutes going down the road and don't fuel the driver, it'll actually read empty until you get down the road and it'll gradually level out. So they are self-leveling. There's no button to push, no none of that. Super easy. Some of the smaller gas stations, your fuel stops you pull into don't have slave pumps. So that's a real nice feature that they will self-level. Coming around guys, the in the engine bay of this thing, it's an 8.9 liter, 360 horsepower Cummins. Um, 1,150 foot-pounds of torque in an Allison 3000 series transmission. That's pretty common for us in these M2106s, and it is full air brake. That's recently, nothing's changed. We've always built with air brake here, uh, in, in, at least since I've been here the last six, seven years. We've always built air brake, but that's been a recent comment lately of, have you guys changed from air brake to hydraulic? No, we're all air brake. We do have glad hands uh, in the back. We just don't plumb them through. Uh, so we can make it super easy later on down the road if you do get a truck, or I'm sorry, a trailer that requires air, glad hands are back there ready to go. The inside of this truck is just as awesome as the outside. It is ostrich, with black accents, black wood, black suede headliner, um, Pioneer stereo, well hell, instead of, instead of talking about it, let's jump in and take a look. Hey guys, now that we've jumped in the cab of the truck, Katie just 
called me out for struggling this morning. So I figured I would just tell you, way too many monsters this morning, I'm bouncing off the walls. Anyhow, we're inside. As we talked about, smoke gray ostrich interior. The, guys, these seats are hand built. They are not 100% perfect like you would see come out of, a, uh, out of an actual uh, manufacturing company. Company, sorry, company. They're hand built down there in Fort Worth, Texas. Frank, that guy, hand stitches. He's got guys and ladies in there that hand stitch them, uh, so on and so forth. So they're hand molded, hand sewn. Every seat is really close, but very different. Uh, smoke gray, black accent, new style of seats. So you've got the smaller bolsters on the side. If you are a, a bigger fella or a taller fella like me, uh, these seats are extremely comfortable. Um, they do come up right underneath your knees on this actual seat part of it. So you've got uh, a lot of relaxation in the leg. Makes going down the road, uh, you, don't, you don't get as tired as quickly. Um, black accents on the inside. So you got the black wood center console. You also have the uh, black accents around the ceiling. Um, you still have the lighting around the inside as well. And then you have the black suede headliner inside as well. Um, really sets the ostrich off. The videos and photos that we take of these trucks, guys, especially this one, does not set off how beautiful the interior is. Um, this is personally one of my favorites. I loved the diamond tuck until I saw the smoke ostrich. I'm in love with it. Probably going to talk Brian into putting it into my next truck. This is the way to go. Black steering wood or steering wheel uh, that is black uh, wood, black wood accents around the dash and the back paneling. Um, as you know, it comes with a Stinger head unit up front, has the backup camera, uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, um, all the bells and whistles, uh, Alpine stereo throughout. Um, uh, also has a subwoofer and amp uh, wired in, in the underneath the back seat. Back seat also folds down. Um, we went ahead and threw some WeatherTech mats in this truck. Uh, guys, this one's available. 214-605. Um, it is still available. 816-489-8298. Um, um, call me anytime, day or night. Phone's always on. Those of you that have actually taken advantage of that, you know that. 816-489-8298. Guys, thanks for watching. Give me a shout.